Hey guys, what's good? Triple J Boxing. So I want to make a video here talking about Canelo versus Crawford. Do we still want to see it? Does Crawford still deserve the fight after uh, the win against Madrimov? And my thoughts on it. So his performance against Madrimov, I thought was good. Um, I thought so was Madrimov's as well. Both guys had a good performance, and it was a high-level chess match in there. And that's what you get when you have two top-level guys, similar to when Pacquiao fought Mayweather. This is the kind of fight you get. I, I enjoyed it. It's not the most, maybe, action-packed pack, fight, but, I mean, you can see the level of respect between both guys was apparent. and That's why the fight played out the way it was and that's why it was a close fight because both these guys are at the highest level uh pedigree for skill and uh yeah so i thought crawford did good considering the opponent was in front of them i know and the reason why i wanted to make this video because there's going to be a lot of haters saying oh he didn't look great or he didn't look the way i thought he was going to look you fight a guy that we don't even know and those are just casuals and people who don't know madrimov I give 100% credit to, to Crawford for this win. Um, it was a close fight. Could have went either way. I had Crawford winning, but I didn't score it, and I didn't write down like on a piece of paper or anything after each round. But I had the impression that Crawford got the win because um, those final two rounds, he turned it up a bit, where Madrimov didn't, and that's what determined me to give the fight to Crawford. Um, but let's get into the topic, guys. A lot of people hating on Crawford, saying he doesn't stand a chance against Canelo, doesn't even deserve it anymore after this performance, performance, which I totally disagree with because Madrimov, I've said it many times, he's no joke. This guy has had hundreds of amateur fights. He's been successful at the amateur level as well, winning gold medals, silver medals at the Asian Games. Um... Hundreds of wins, like I said, in the amateur system. So I knew that this was going to be a tough fight for Terrence. And if you ask me, I think that Majermoff would be a tough fight for Canelo. I'm going to say it right now. I think he would be. I think stylistically he would be a tough fight for Canelo. And I think stylistically Crawford would have an easier time with Canelo. I just feel like madrimov has got that Triple G, G slash Dimitri Bivol hybrid style, which is tricky. And even though that Crawford took away his jab when he went into the southpaw um, for most of the fight, for all the fight pretty much, um, the fainting and the upper body movement is so unpredictable and it, and, and it just kept Terrence Crawford at bay from letting his hands go as much as he want, would want to. And I feel like that would do the same thing to Canelo. It would trick Canelo. And I feel like Crawford would have an easier time with Canelo just because Canelo doesn't do that kind of stuff. He doesn't have that. He has a totally different style. Obviously, there's different problems that you would have to deal with Canelo. Canelo is very explosive in a different way. Very devastating body puncher. And obviously, super durable guy. Like, not even Triple G could, couldn't get him out of there and drop him. So... It would be, in that sense, it would be tough for, for uh, Crawford. But I feel like round by round on that basis, who can bank rounds? I feel like Crawford could bank more rounds against Canelo and actually win more rounds against, have an easier time winning more rounds against Canelo than he did Madrimov. But the knockout danger, the strength of Canelo, that would be a risk. But I think he deserves it, guys. I think this provo this performance... Definitely deserves it. And I know Madrimov deserves a rematch in my opinion. But I just don't think it will happen. I don't think the money's there. I just don't see. Unless Turkey al wants to make it happen. And give Terrence a lot of money for the rematch. I don't think it just. It doesn't really do much for Terrence at this point. Even though. In like in a perfect world. Madrimov does deserve this rematch. But if not. Yeah guys. I want to see the Canelo fight. I just feel like. Canelo's talking all the shit like, oh, he's too small, I won't get credit, yet you fight Charlo. So I don't get that. And now you're fighting Berlanga. And I I know Berlanga, he's in his weight class, but still, 
I mean, you fought Charlo. You fought smaller guys in smaller weight classes before, but you won't fight Crawford. That doesn't make sense to me. Um, but I, I know what he's, where he's coming from. It's a high-risk, low-reward fight. It's even more high-risk than David Benavidez in the sense that um, at least if Canelo were to beat David Benavidez, he would get credit. Whereas with Crawford, not only is he going to struggle maybe and not win the fight, but he's not going to get credit even if he wins. So I do understand that. So it's a more risky fight. And that's why I don't believe Canelo will take the fight unless Turkey al Sheik flashes the cash. But can Canelo, I mean, can Crawford beat Canelo after this performance? I say, yeah. And I know a lot of people are saying no, but I say, yeah. The reason I say that is because Majermoff is a tricky style and he's, he's, he's possibly better than Canelo in a lot of aspects, like experience wise, his pedigree, his footwork, um, just he's more skillful than can Can than Canelo, more higher IQ than Canelo, you could say. So, yeah, like I I don't. If anything, this proves that can uh, that uh, Crawford can hang with these guys with the bigger guy. Um, now it's not a guaranteed win for Crawford. There's still it's Canelo guys. He's powerful. He's strong. He he can still obviously. Maybe Canelo, maybe Crawford won't be able to deal with uh, the pressure of Canelo eventually. Like maybe Crawford will win a lot of rounds, but eventually Cro uh, Canelo will start breaking him down with the arm shots, the hip shots, just the the sheer strength of Canelo. You know what I mean, uh, the physical and mental pressure. But I mean, if you're gonna pick a guy to win it, especially if it goes to this decision. I would say Crawford has a very good chance of looking like what Mayweather did to Canelo. I could see that happening. I could definitely see that happening. Um, that Crawford wins a lot of rounds with maybe with relatively ease. You just got to be wor worried you don't get hit with huge shots by Canelo and get knocked out. Because if he doesn't, I feel like that's a winnable fight for Crawford. That's my opinion. Obviously, Canelo is better than what he was when he fought Mayweather, but he's also, he has wear and tear on his body now, so he is starting to regress a bit too. Um, but it, it, it's just funny how people are going to look at this fight and say that uh, Terrence isn't ready for Canelo at all now. Like, Majumov didn't even, like, he didn't drop him. He didn't severely hurt Crawford. He did rock him, but it's not like there was one point in the fight where Crawford was out on his feet or he was stumbling. He handled the shots pretty well. So, yeah, guys, that's my opinion on it. And, like, it's just the casual fan is going to be hating. And I know some hardcores will still believe that Crawford maybe can't handle Canelo, which is fair. Canelo is used to fighting bigger guys, and he's got that strength advantage. Like, if he was, if he was able to take Triple G shot, he's going to be able to take Canelo sh or to then uh, Crawford shot. So... But my thing is, I think the way Terrence Crawford will beat Canelo, and I do believe that if the fight happens, I favor Terrence Crawford to beat Canelo, is by decision. He'll win rounds. And I think he'll win rounds easier than he did with Majermoff. I just feel like Majermoff is a different... He's a tricky style, and he's got the higher boxing IQ than Canelo. That's my opinion. I feel like he has a lot more skills that Canelo lacks Uh but then again, you have to give Canelo credit for the... Canelo's just a beast. He's super strong, vicious body punching combinations, super durable. So you have to give that edge to Canelo there, which will make it, could make it a tough fight. But I mean, like, as long as Crawford keeps the right footwork, the right distance, I don't see Canelo beating him. That's my opinion, guys. I think that uh, Crawford... I, I want the Canelo fights next. He's getting old. He's almost 37 now. We need this fight to happen now. After the Berlanga fight, let's make it happen, guys. Um, that's my opinion. This is Triple J Boxing. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.